Finally. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. So in this video, I want us to quick talk about Roblox. So this is finally here and it's happening, guys. We've covered this here on the channel. Talk about this company as a mobile gaming company and um, the implications that it has. And we talked about the user base. So most of the things that you would expect to uh, really get an in-depth into the stack, I've really covered that uh, in a video, which I'm going to hook up here for you to go check out. But in today's video, I just want to give you guys a quick update and talk about uh, expectations for the direct listing that's going to happen um, tomorrow. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And again, guys, this is finally here. Roblox is uh, going to be listed and they're doing a direct listing. So for those of you that don't understand what that is, it means they're not going through your traditional IPO. Um, the company is just going to list directly um, on the NASDAQ without any underwriters. So in this case, they're going to decide what the price of the stock is going to be uh, just right before the listing. And we'll go from there. So I've been doing some reading and just trying to see what they're, they're projecting that the price of the stock is going to be. Uh, right now, they're projecting that it might open at $45. But you guys know what that means, right? It means nothing. Because once uh, this thing you know, gets out there, you're going to see this thing's going to open at about 80 85 again that's my personal uh projection based on the information that i've seen in the past we've seen other stocks uh like snowflakes um like palantir when they come out they come out hot usually out of the gate so i i will not put that past roadblock in the anticipation for low for roadblock has been uh insane a lot of people are waiting uh, to get the hands on this stock. So you're going to see, again, this $45 price point here to me is just nothing. It's just going to blow past that. And so my approach here, um, it's going to be a little bit different, guys. Um, the way, um, again, I, I talked about the way I go after either these direct listings or IPOs uh, on the channel. So I give you guys my strategy, um, how to approach it. So I would go in, again, looking at that price point at 45 I'm going to try to put my order at maybe about 50 or 60. I'll even try $60 if I want to get in because I know that $45 price point is just not going to do anything. So I'm going to put an order at about $60 and then uh, cash that right and go up to, I don't know, whatever a high I can get. Um, I'll day trade that, take some profit, and then wait for, um, for a pullback before I can buy and hold long term. Again, this is how these things usually work. Um, is it going to work exactly the way I anticipated? I have no idea. Has it worked like that in the past? Yes. So I'm going off of history. So if it doesn't work, don't come out at me and say, oh, you said it's, it was going to work that way. I'm just telling you guys what I've done in the past and how that has helped me. So again, the approach is I'm going to try to day trade it tomorrow and then wait for a pullback. And then before I can jump in, guys, I've actually had um, some instances with companies like C3 AI, where I you know traded it, I did trade it, and then waited for it to pull back. It never did until this pullback that we had. Now that's when I got into C3 AI. So again, like I said, this is stuff that can work, and sometimes it might not work. But again, I want to hold Roblox long term. So even if I go in, I might. If I go in, it's too high. I might average my way down and just uh, stay in the stock for the long term because I've, I see the potential. Yeah, if you want to know about Roblox, take any uh, between 7 and 15 year old that you know and ask them about Roblox. They're going to run circles around you. Try that. That was my little test. My nephews and niece and boy, I'm like, I'm sold. I mean, then again, I look at their company and the profitability. It's like, man, this is a no brainer. So. Let me know again in the comment section what you guys are thinking. Are you guys excited about Roblox? Are you guys going to trade it? Or what's your strategy? Do you plan on trading or you just want to buy and hold long term? Again, let me know in the comment section if you're new to the channel. We talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you are looking to get started with investing, Webo still has the promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. And stay motivated.